when the ambulance came, it was clear that I was really critically ill. Last year, Yassine nearly died from the flu and pneumonia. It was the life support uh, machines that enabled my body to fight the raging infection that I had going on inside my body because all my organs had shut down, so I was in complete organ failure. So it's the ventilator keeping me alive and breathing. Despite the ventilator helping Yassine's recovery, Imperial College London and Royal Brompton Hospital have discovered that ventilators can also be damaging to patients when too much oxygen causes the lungs to overinflate. So they are trialling a new system to adapt ventilators to suit each patient. To try and really assess how we can measure what the lungs of these patients are doing, in, the, in essence how diseased they are, um, we felt that this um, system would allow us to have um, more in-depth understanding of the physiology and the workings of the lung itself whilst patients are on a ventilator. And so what this device will allow us to do is really allow us to measure really at the bedside what is going on within their lungs. This device has been developed by Professor Stephen Rees and a team of software developers who are using data from each patient to better understand how to treat them. It monitors how much carbon dioxide they're breathing out, it monitors their oxygen level in their blood. And then while it's doing this, it's calculating for the individual, does this mean that the ventilator is set correctly? So the algorithms are working in the background and they're saying, is there a better pattern of ventilation for this patient? I think medicine is hitting new frontiers. There is a patient in every bed space in intensive care, effectively attached to lots of machines. Now the amount of data that is incorporated from that is immense. What we want to do as intensivists now is harness this data. So I think this is the future of intensive care medicine and potentially the future of medicine. It's incredible that something so small can assess how well the ventilation is performing and uh, the capacity of your lungs. To be able to improve that service would be fantastic. At the moment this is being trialled, but may help medical staff to better understand how to treat intensive care patients in the future. Jem O'Reilly, BBC London.